Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find multiple combinations using the TI-84 graphing calculator. So what we have here is a teacher is making a test. A test bank um, of 30 questions is available to choose questions from. The question bank consists of six hard, 15 moderate, and nine easy questions to choose from. How many different tests can be made if the teacher wants three hard questions, 10 moderate questions, and seven easy questions? Okay, um, so with this, one thing to remember is that NCR is our combinations notation, and we find this by doing N factorial over N minus R factorial times R factorial, which remember, N factorial just means N times N minus 1 times dot 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 all the way times 3 times 2 times 1 until you get to the end, okay? Um, but your calculator is already programmed with this, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up our equations. We're also going to combine this with the um, fundamental counting principle, which says is that you multiply um, each of your amounts by the previous amount, okay, um, to figure out the total amounts available. So what we have here is we have six hard questions to choose from, and we want to select three of them. So our first one that we would set up is six things taken three at a time. And then we would multiply it by 15 things taken 10 at a time. And then the last one is we would have nine easy that we wanna choose seven of. Okay, so we would have nine things taken seven at a time. So we wanna look at the number of arrangements that we can have from this. So instead of having to actually work this all out using the formula, we can just plug this into our calculator. If you need to show work, the way that you would set this up is this would be six factorial over three factorial, three factorial, that's the first part, times the second part, which would be 15 factorial over 15 minus 10, which is five factorial, 10 factorial. And then the last one would be um, nine factorial over two factorial, seven factorial. So if you need to show work, this is how you would show your work. But like I said, we can just plug this directly into our calculator. So depending upon how yours works, if you hit your NCR button in your calculator and it puts answer NCR, then that means that your calculator, you have to put this leading number first before selecting NCR. So you would just go to the answer and type over it like the first number six C and then you would replace R with the three. Okay, um, so for some of your calculators, like I said, you're in a, you won't know until you go there and you try it. Um, so like this one, I would put six NCR three. So some calculators allow you to enter it this way. Others, when you hit the NCR button, is gonna give you a box with the C and then another box, and then you just fill in the box with the numbers like we have here. So depending upon your calculator, you will either get the NCR where you have to put your number first and then NCR and then your um, the R value second, or you will get a box and you won't know until you actually try it. So for some of you, you do have a shortcut. And for this one, it's really nice if you have the shortcut because you can just hit alpha F2 option eight, and it gets there really quickly. So you could go through and hit six and then change this to three. And then you would just do times alpha F2, option eight, um, 15 and 10. And then you would just do times alpha F2, option eight. And you would put in your values again. So this time it would be nine seven, and you end up with 2,162,160. So for some of you, you didn't have that option. If you have an older 83 or you have an, sorry, if you have an 83 for sure, a TI-83 for sure, um, you don't have that option. If you have an older 84, you also would not have that option. So if the sec the alpha F2 was not available to you, um, what you can do is you can go to math and probability and choose option three, and then you would type it in. So I would do the six times three times, and then again, you would have to do the math 
probability option three, and then put in the 15 and the 10, times, and then again, math probability option three. And for some of you, instead of PROB, it might be PRB. Um, they have changed some of the programming in newer editions. So for this one, we could have nine things taken seven at a time. And so you end up with the same answer. So it's just a matter of what your calculator allows you to do. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.